Uh, the boat's finally, finally done. Didn't quite turn out the way I was expecting, but not a professional boat builder, but it is quite nice. And I'll just give you a quick show on it, going over what it looks like. And tomorrow we'll take it out for a run. It's meant to be a little bit breezy tomorrow, so we'll see how it goes. We'll go for about a 10k or 9k run up to an island, around an island. We might have a few cast of floors or something. Just see how we go. Um, that'll be in this video as well, guys. So, so we'll go for a run and I'll just show you what the little, little, little red rocket. She's finally done. Okay, so here we go, guys. So, as you can see, 4.2 meter Coxcraft. All done. I've actually went and got some guides for the trailer. I didn't do that to actually help guide the boat up, guide the boat on. I actually done that just to help to help to reverse so I can actually see the trailer going down these these ramps through the back of the Jeep. It's, it's actually quite hard to see the see the trailer and even out the side mirrors and stuff, it's just awkward. So I put them on there and now I can see it out the back quite easily. And it does help center the boat and put it on a little bit quicker, especially in cross country, so that's not a bad thing. Okay, I've got rid of the big sticker on the side of was up there. All the front's been redone, it's all been sanded and painted painted white. You can see over the other side there, there's no more holes, bolts, it's all done. That in the middle there, that's just the camera mount for this camera. Hopefully you'll see it in action tomorrow. I'll have the camera mounted up there. Look over the whole boat. I took the plates off here, so they annoy me, it looked like crap. So I took them off, I put got brand new nav lights on here, all working beautifully. Stainless steel rod holders, new Elite 9 in there, okay, they're the older rod holders still there. Um, I took the anchor light from the other side and a broken anchor light and put it on this side so it's here. Uh, the new transducers down here, that's a trim tab, I'm not sure how it's going to go but hopefully that'll work well tomorrow. All inside you can see is all, I think you've already seen inside. What, I have, what you haven't seen is two bait boards there, so bait boards on top, they're all glued down. Um, the little rack there full of all the tools. I went and put battery under there. Strapped in the smaller esky, all strapped into the side. And up the front, you have the fuel up the front there. Can't believe the garbage truck. Go away. So it feels like the front there all strapped in, except the new Elite. And down the side there you've got four rod holders. Hopefully they'll hold the rod right. We'll see how it goes tomorrow and a little bit of chop. So, so far she's looking quite good. The back looks all quite nice. So There's a little rack at the back. It's not for rods. That's just to pull the tools in. I've got scales and drag mats. Yeah, lip grips. And everyone else in there. Bits and pieces, scissors and stuff. New rod holders, old rod holder, GoPro mount you'll see tomorrow, more rod holders up the side, and that's it, it's basically, it's, that's it, I just want to keep it nice and empty, clean, and on this side down here you've got the side pocket, I don't know if you can see there, there's a net and a gap in that side pocket, that side pocket over there, that rod's standing up, I'll have a couple of tackle boxes, I'll have safety gear under there, and probably whatever else, bits and pieces under there. And the rest of the boat, guys, all empty. This thing's even got a brand new prop on it. So I've got a brand new prop down there as well. So hopefully that should work quite well. And they're all cleaned up. That's it, guys. Little little red rockets ready to go. Anyway, I'll see you out in the water tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. As you can see, we're out in a little red rocket. This morning's this maiden voyage, I thought we'll take it out. We're going to go for a run up here in front of me. It's a little island, it's in close to shorts. Um, it's called Double Island, it's up off Palm Cove. This is really more of a test day on the boat. Well, I will do a little bit of fishing up here around the shallow reefs so you can catch something for a bit of fun. But it's more of a bit of a run up here. It's going to be 10 knots southeast, a little choppy this afternoon or later in the morning. Just a nice day to give this boat a little bit of a test and see how it goes. Give the engine a good run. Hopefully it doesn't leak. <laughs> and yeah, before I take it out wide to the reef. 
it does feel quite small out here actually it's been a while since i've been out and this is tiny <laughs> but anyway guys um i'll do a bit of filming today as we go and a bit a little bit of fishing up here on the reef and a bit of trolling and whatever uh as you can see i just left the office knob there's the boat ramp in behind me out to sea we've got a bit of rain and storm coming apparently today should be a fun morning anyway guys i'll show you the island you probably Hopefully you can see it on the camera. It's a few k's up here. I'm going to go for a run up to that and then we'll see how we go from there. Down up there. Not bad scenery, huh? Anyway, I'll see you when we get to the island. Hey guys. Finally made it to Double Island. It's just over there. You'll see it shortly in the background. Uh, interesting day. Being cans, it's nice and hot. We've got a storm brewing behind us. We've got a nice southerly kicking up the coast. And this boat feels a lot smaller. <laughs> I thought it would. It's tiny. But anyway, just gonna have to get used to that guys. Um what I'm gonna do is see these double islands over there and down by the sound there there's a bit of a drop off and stuff along the edge here and there's a bit of ground on our side. I'm just gonna go for a trawl. The boat so far is Beautiful, it's not stiff in a beat, there's no water, the engine hasn't missed a beat. So far, very happy. And I can see the fuel tank still hasn't moved, and I've just run 9k to an island, it's still chock a block, so it should be all good. Anyway, let's put, I'm just going to put one lure out, just go for a bit of a troll, and in a little while, I'll go into uh, Double Island because there's a big reef on the southern side here. And just cast a few small poppers and stick baits, see if we can catch some small trout, trevally, you know, cod, just something for a bit of fun. Just to float around, just make sure this boat's all good. And then we'll go for a bit of a run home this suddenly. It's probably going to be a little bit wet and choppy, but that's good, it's what I want. I want to give it a test. Anyway, let's put a lure in and see how we go, eh? Hey? I didn't bring, bring the, uh, uh, big pacemakers out here because I'm only in close. Don't know what I'm going to chase. Hopefully, it's a school mackerel or maybe a Spanish here. So, I bought my other favourite lure. There's a little CD, Rapala CD. That's a CD9. See, metal bib, nice and chrome. Um, I thought that'd be a good one just running around here in close. I'm only in 11 metres of water, so I've ridden really close. Let's just try this out and go for a run, eh? very long I'll troll again um, just thinking I might just go for a cast along here have a look at this guys nice little rock wall rocks off the island there so let's go have a cast that and see what happens eh? It's more of a test for the boat. We'll just have a bit of a play while we're out here. Thanks, Ben, for ever. 
I've only got like gear from down south, so I'm gonna get smoked. Looks like an untangled stuff. There we go. Alright. Little stick bait, little sinking stick bait. Strati 4000. 20 pound line, 20 pound leader, casting it a little island off cans. I'm about to get dusted. But it's going to be fun. Not going to get that one. It's a sinking stick bait. Uh, bugger. Looks like we're off for a flying start, huh? A little jerk bait on, little fluoro green jerk bait. Just got hit twice, drifting along this rock edge. I'll turn the camera around, guys, and show you what I'm fishing. Don't see this down the Gold Coast, fellas. Seem to have teeth, so we're using that. That's all right. I reckon this thing around the other side there when I'm fishing over the shallow reef. We'll catch a few cod and small trout and stuff, probably. Be a lot of fun. The engine seems to be going all right. The boat hasn't leaked. Well, the top half has anyway. We'll check the bottom half. We should get home. <laughs> I got hit. 
I might show this back along this edge. Just show you guys what I'm looking at. Check this out. Have a look at that. Isn't that something? Alright guys. I'm gonna go around the other sides. Where the reef is, there's a shallow reef there. You catch a few small trout and trevally and you know, cod and stuff on. So I'm going to go around there for a cast, guys. Uh, getting a bit blowy out there. I don't know if you can see behind me, the storm's actually getting closer. It's looking good, a little bit of lightning in it too, so. Hmm. That's alright, I'm going to stay out here as long as I can because I really want to just float around this boat and see how it goes for a few hours and let the engine run for a few hours. And Hopefully nothing skips a beat. So far she's running fine. There is a little bit of water in the back. I'm not sure where that's from. It's only a little bit. I'm thinking it might be coming over the transom because it is quite choppy and there's not much of a transom there. Not much freeboard, so. But there's nothing to worry about yet, which is good. The engine hasn't skipped a beat. And all I'm gonna do, guys, is this one I just lost before, I just cast off before. I'm just gonna rig this up again with a surface or a little popper or something because it's only very shallow around there you can cast a shallow stick bait and a popper just over the flats it'd be nice to catch a legal sized trout to take home for a feed but no, i haven't got high hopes for that but we'll give it a crack it'd be nice to put this first trout in the boat yeah it's not the deal right for the maiden voyage if you caught a couple of trout I've got my glasses on, so threading these through the eye is not easy. Damn. That wasn't easy. And I'm going to cheat this time. I'm just going to do it all bright night and put a short leader on. I'll keep it outside the rod, because these are only micro guides in this, and that other night got caught and snapped off me <laughs> expensive $30 lure. Bugger. So this time I'm going to put a uh, all bright, make it a short leader, keep the knot on the outside, and that way I'll be able to cast this thing for miles and all day and not break off any lures. And this definitely would have been easier if I put my glasses on. nice here and uh, I'm on the northern side of the island at the moment out of the wind. See how calm it is, it's a beautiful bit here. I wanted to go to the island and have a look around, I might get a little bit later but at the moment there's a heap of kayakers kayaking around and pulling up to every little sandy spot they can see so must be a tour or something up here, must have to do tours around the islands with kayaks. I don't think I'd like to be in a kayak up here but anyway. This thing, not a bad little rig, but damn it's small. <laughs> it's no free border head of the night. It. If I plan on going out to the reef and stuff, it's going to be good weather. If I can stay out in the reef overnight, and it's going to be interesting. If I roll over, I might roll out. Uh, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? I'm going to the shallow reef, so I'm not going to put on a really expensive one. And again, most of this shit's expensive. Just put that one on. That one looks alright. It's high tide now too. High tide about 8 o'clock, so it's time to go up the reef and have a look. 
while the tide's high. Hopefully they don't take the prop out. Brand new prop. Feel that wind. That storm. I'm going to have a bumpy wet ride home, but anyway, test the boat. Definitely going to get wet. Fishing surface laws, it's good fun, guys. Anyway, let's go around to the reef. to be a few of these little things around. I'm quite sure I'll find me micro jig. I'm in two metres of water casting up current and just bouncing it back like a soft plastic. The ground here is very rubbly, reefy, it's all over, it's very hatchy. I'm pretty sure if I put a plastic on and cast it, I'll catch a lot of those things. finding a trout. Alright, here we go guys. Oops, it's on. It is on. Second cast of the plastic. Not sure what I've got here. Oh, it's a trout. No, it's not. <laughs> it's a tusky. I've got a tusky. <laughs> Tusky on a plastic. How's that? Pretty little fish. Oh well. Beautiful little fish. But definitely too small to keep. I thought I was 
a jig and maybe second cast with plastic, it's husky. So not bad. follow the day. Still there. Are we recording, I hope? Yes, we're recording. Not real big, but hey! What do you know? <laughs> Little Mackey. Little Mackey. I don't want to keep them dry, so I don't need bait or anything. dangerous. Little Mackie. Not a bad little fish for the first first one to troll. Sweet. Hasn't been a total dud guys. We've got a little nice little uh few little cod, a little Mackie and a little oh I can't even think what it was. A little parrot. Tusky. Anyway, I've got a little way to go trawling, so I'll put the lure back out and keep trawling a bit. Actually, I might just leave the camera on. So, alright, been out here for a few hours. Um, the engine seems to be running right, but 
Road seems pretty good. It'd be interesting to see if I've got any water on the, uh, the bottom half, the bottom, bottom of the hole. I can't check that until I get out. Um, it is a very nice day out here. It's 10 notch white caps. Thank <laughs> you. 